morning, good morning. Here yeah, I'm here with Cinco uh, and Snoop. We about to go to a car meet. Um, today's November 20th. Uh, so they're doing like a Thanksgiving food drive meet. Um, a whole bunch of Beamer should be there. So I'll probably get some rollers at everybody. Um, and yeah, so today should be a little fun. Uh, hopefully this makes another YouTube vi uh, video upload because I haven't been uploading much, but Snoop's rolling out in his G82 M4 Comp. Kevin the IS, of course. And you know my car over here. Um, Alright, let's get it cracking. Yes, sir. Trying to get these done right I dead ass shit. washed my car too. It was cold as fuck. Oh, uh, dude, that's why I told him I got the streaks all over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't see streaks on my shit. I know. Come look at Jake did to my hood. I see it. What is it from? We had to take the dent out from when the wrench hit it, and he chipped my paint. Gotta love it. Paint's no, you just gotta match it from. I can't leave my hood open because it keeps flying up. So. Yeah, how much you get the trunk for? Too much. Too much? Too much. I paid 800 for my bitch. That's about how much I paid for mine. That's not too much. See, I was going to say, I was thinking you were going to say like 12. Yeah, right? man. I paid 800 for my shit. All right, Nick. What's the rundown on this bitch, man? When everything goes. We got port injection, MMP port injection with 1050cc injectors. Full E flex fuel kit. I got a dual 525 Walros low pressure pump. I got a BPM4 upgraded uh, EKP. Okay. I got 6466 precision on my top mount speed tech kit. Pretty. Installed wonderfully <laughs> by the gayest man on earth. Not a word. And everything to support it. Now shout out Empire Performance, Speed and Performance. Kirk myself. Nice little hooser on the ditch. So, Doc Race Kit, 6266, built motor, um, port injection, full ethanol, all the basic bolt ons. Um, that's it, no AC. <laughs> um, just don't like to make a lot of room in there because it breaks a lot. Right, right. So, you know, just basic stick shift. Built by who? What'd you say? Built by who? Built by me, of course. Okay. So stick like to shift hear. has an X clutch. I'm still learning how to drive stick. So, <laughs> you know. Oh, right, yeah, it looks good, bro. Makes like 427 on like 30 pounds. <laughs> 60 to 130 in like 9.2. <laughs> Nah, yeah, yo, how's it been running since you got it back on the road? It's been doing good. It's been doing good. I mean, the oil doesn't. Yeah, yo, your hood fell again. Again? Again. Um, but yeah, this this video is gonna consist of mostly just giving the homies rundowns on their builds. Um, you know, throw that throw that shit on YouTube and give them some spotlight. I unlocked it. It's unlocked. And the next few plans for the build. Uh, hopefully we can do that four inch uh, hood exit uh, with the teardrop this upcoming week um, so we're gonna have to cut the hood again for that um, but who knows what's next uh, just stay tuned I'm gonna be doing a bunch of things I have to do like rotors and a bunch of little shit like that but yeah this is what it looks like where we're at right now color on this IS is crazy. Sheesh. Nah, this color is wicked.
I'm gonna start walking around as soon as um, as soon as Cab gets out the car. It's really dumb brick, yo. Bro. A lot of nice cars here though. That's Rogers fucking F82 over there. <laughs> These guys getting baked in the car. Red on red G82. <laughs> They're all in the car. It's funny. It's really nice too. We're currently at Starbucks. Currently in Starbucks, getting a hot chocolate and a sandwich. So what you about to get? Hey, okay, what you about to get? Man, I think it's just standing here in the heat. Fucking Starbucks. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Looks really good. Gotta make sure they go all pull out. Edwin's build, uh, it's a 135 bottom mount speed tech kit, uh, port injected to him by CD919. And the very, very special thing about this car is it is, of course, yo, can you unlock it? It's of course what I like the most. It is the CT swap. And it's an M54. So, but yeah, bottom mount. Um, B10 kit, uh, 6466 precision, and upgraded oil cooler, port injection. Um, this isn't his typical tire setup either. He does run a 17 by 10 apex on a nice little uh, R compound. Um, and I'll drop his at so you guys can, you know, pop up with his build and his personal account. So, yeah. Alright, so I have not recorded this in the GoPro, but I did get a lip. Here's my lip. So we're putting that on today. And then, the best thing, we got some matching wheels for the rear. But we need to paint them. But apart from that, we're lowering the car because we're fucking monster trucking right now. Get a light on this. Ow. Oh, that's a bad example. But. Yeah. Um, just a bit more content for you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna record me lowering the car. Yeah. Uh, just showing you guys what's going on. Keep me updated. Carbon trunk. Some of you may or may not know.
definitely looks a bit lower than looking at it. This lip is not brand new. So for those who think of it, in weird condition for quote unquote brand new, it's not brand new. My boy shipped this out to me um, off of his old IS. That bitch up good. You hear that, David? Did it die? Oh yeah, 100%. That shit went lower. Oh my god, that bitch look good. Oh my god. Woo! That bit bad, cuz. No camera, cuz. It's like nah. But yeah, nah. This bitch is in pretty good condition, man. For what it is, uh, he told me he had no cracks. It has a little chip, but you know, I don't give a fuck, man. This lip is gonna fucking break. Uh, this is a little crack right here, but you know, nothing crazy. Um, it'll look good on the car. That looks really good. Nice. So, Edwin almost got it to the height he was under that. Um, we're doing this very ghetto. We're using KW tools on STs, but it's fine. Um, but we potentially saw that I might run into an issue installing this lip. One, because it is fully carbon fiber, so, which is a good thing. But as you can see, the bottom is carbon. And my intercooler pushes down on the bumper. My intercooler is very low. Um, so the only issue we see here is we're gonna have to self tap it really strong there, but I can possibly fuck up the intercooler so I have to be mindful of that. You heard? <laughs> Just got the bumper off. So now we're gonna put the lip on the bumper because we figured since the intercooler it's so low and it's pushing everything down we might as well put it on the bumper first and then mount it back up and then just deal with the filming later um but yeah so now we're gonna do that Ooh. yo i think that's also why my bumper my bumper to hood fitment is so bad because the intercooler pushes the bumper down self-tapped and we put a few uh bolts and nuts on the lip and See, it fits pretty good. Um, we got it to fit kind of perfect. Um, it's hard to get this to fit like super, super flush. Is mainly because of how the intercooler is. Um, but nonetheless, it's pretty good. Now we're putting the bumper back on, making sure the fitment is flush. And yeah, that's today's recap. All right, guys. So big thanks to Evan. Help me lower the car. Wouldn't have happened without him today. So, big shout out to him. Um, we just got the lip on and the bumper. Looks pretty good. Um, I will say the hood to bumper gap is a bit bigger than I'd like, but whatever. I'm not really tripping about it. Uh, it looks really, really good. We'll take some pictures in the sunlight tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.